XOYO, no more headliners. I'm so happy to hear this news. This is great. So, XOYO in... Um, what do you call Shoreditch or you call it Old Street? I don't know what do you call that area. But, again, one of my favorite clubs to go to in the, on the more commercial sort of end of things um they tend to have a you know pretty sort of like not say run of the mill but they don't tend to be as as adventurous as other spots like corsica studios in london in terms of their kind of headlines i guess but they do do a good job they do a hell of a good job of doing really good back-to-back sets right like when i watched um, young marco and mercy john ensemble play there a few months ago great back of back great back-to-back sets that complement uh, each artist so again one of my favorite spots just in general um very well organized great security bars fairly quick to kind of get a drink at um it's split over two floors great toilet use a massive cloakroom you know everything you probably need it's located in central so for the most part you can get back home quite easily and opens until 4 a.m no problem for me but it seems as if they've had a bit of an issue with booking headliners or getting the people that they want for the prices they want for the most part because a lot of the i think there was a thousand part of the debate i posted um from the ib for music summit that happened a couple of months ago there was a lot of debate between the promoters about being priced out of the market for the middle of the tier, for the middle tier DJs, right? Not the big ones, but the middle tier DJs who now think or are aware that they are as good as the top tier DJs are demanding big money. So you can't get them for a grand anymore. You have to pay them much more than that. So that's affecting how the clubs book them. So an effort to kind of combat that, London's club X Y has kind of decided not to have any headliners, right, on their Saturday night parties, which is a great, great, great thing. And instead, just have like a pleasure hood. Sort of like similar to what um, Bergheim has in the Club Natch, right? The Club Night sort of thing where they just kind of book loads of in-house people and loads of friends of friends to kind of keep the party going. And this is not to call for Mix Mag that kind of stipulates it and we can kind of talk about it later. So, London Club XY are no longer booking headline sets for their Saturday Night Party Pleasurehood. It says the following, XY has announced that they will stop booking headline acts on Saturday series of Pleasurehood. Uh, the long-time XY resident... Um, Jasper John or jo- Joshua Joshua James, sorry, Jasper John, uh, will be taking the DJ booth each Saturday with Coco, Cole, Luke Solomon, Elisa Rose, and Hifi Sean also joining on rotation. Dancer Louis Fizz will also be fronting a dance trip each week. That's awesome. The decision means that the advanced ticket prices will be pushed down to five pounds. That's awesome. Um, let's see if we can um, let's get a pleasure page to get the whole info. But that's a really really good idea. Boom boom boom. An entire series is basically all in-house DJs playing. Let's call it videos. Get this pleasure every Saturday. Let's see if we can get some resonant voice or. But it was a pretty cool um, kind of explanation as to why they decided to do it, which I thought was worthy of giving a bit of attention. Because again, I think it's something you're going to see a lot of other places starting to take note of, um, and kind of adopting in their kind of places. Uh, so this is yeah, this is an article from Resident Advisor that speaks about it a little bit more. Um, this is the following to quote from um, X Y it says ticket prices in London are becoming extortionate, and international headliners playing to thousands of people. We basically don't want our Saturday nights to be part of that problem anymore. We want our dance floor to be affordable for everyone. So five pound tickets, well five pound stand tickets, I'm assuming going up to about ten and stuff, whatever. So let's see the one happening next week, um, on the seventh. How much is that going to be? Okay, all of them are sold out. Basement, see, there we go. That's a great idea. So all the tickets for next couple of weeks are sold out. It seems as if just with Joshua James and Kimishi, those ones are available. Twenty first. That's a really great idea. So Joshua James is always playing in the basement, and they'll rotate someone on the top floor. So again, it's just you know you could just you know what you're gonna get on the. It says Zachary says in the tin nine to four a.m. Little video here. Let's play and see what they're talking about on this one. But again, a really clever idea, I think, for the most part. I think most people will be quite pleased with it, especially if you're in that sort of area and you want to party in that zone. I think it's a good, 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 good idea. Amazing. Cool video. And they've got dancers in there too to get the party going. It's like Saturday night, isn't it? In Shoreditch, I think, you know, there's... It's hard to kind of get that shit wrong, but again, lowering the ticket entry, allowing maybe more of your residents to kind of recommend their friends who they want to play. And again, maybe it's an opportunity for them to maybe kind of expand and kind of get out there and introduce new DJs to the scene as well, kind of get that whole thing running. Because I think for as amazing as it is to go and see a big headline act in a place like XOYO, it's probably quite cool to be able to go 
imagine you're drinking at a dragon bar or something around the corner and you want to just go to have a dance right the ability to know that oh you're not gonna have to pay 25 pounds to go see someone play right 15 is probably where it should be i'm assuming most places in berlin are the same right 10 euros to 15 euros 15 is probably a little bit more affordable to kind of go in on a whim 20s when it kind of gets a bit too crazy yeah it looks like yeah for the most part anytime entry is 15 pounds advanced tickets are fiver so you could always kind of buy a couple of advanced tickets and if you don't sell them just sell them on to some friends again a really really clever um idea from the whole xoio team and i think for the most part it should be a, a success it started already they've got them running until the end of the month or until december so hopefully this goes well and people are kind of receptive to it because we, we need to see more of it in the main reason i think especially nowadays with the amount of clubs closing the only way it's going to survive or it's going to be helped is if you know punt or the clubs are able to book people who aren't a1 headliners and customers such as you and myself or myself and you can go to these parties and attend them and also make them profitable right so they keep putting them on that's the only way it can go around instead of just waiting for ricardo Villalobos to come down every month right we should be supporting these sort of nights that are happening every saturday and trying to make sure that they hang around for the foreseeable future but yeah that's new to next while again I'll, I'll link the next i think the next couple of parties that are available are the ones on the 21st i'm pretty sure right the pleasurehood on the 21st of september that's when it's available um no the one next week is sold out which is mad isn't it that's pretty cool man next week one's oh no the one that just passed is sold out sorry next week one's still available right yeah next week is uh jasper john and coco cole playing go here on the screen five pound advance tickets 15 pound for any time entry pleasure hood at xoio so check it out again if you're in the area i'll link it all in the show notes for you guys to check out 